gather all the news. Read all about it. Track down all the clues. With interesting people, there's a mystery to be solved. An adventure is unfolding, so why not get involved? Priceless. Must mean the artifacts aren't worth very much. Oh, just the opposite. They're very valuable because they're part of our heritage. Well, that's good. When will you be back from your museum, Sam? Okay, we'll have the next edition ready by then. No, Chris isn't here. The doctor says he has to rest his ankle. But Alex is helping. He's looking at the meanings of our names. Yes, he and Otto are getting along just fine. I don't believe you, Otto. Everyone is curious about the meaning of his or her name, even you. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Admit that he's curious about the meaning of his name. Well, I am. What's Lynn mean? Feta, could you repeat the list? The name Lynn means waterfall. Oh, that's kind of pretty. The name Samantha means the listener. Sam will like that better than Screeching Owl. <laughs> yeah. Christopher is named after St. Christopher. Most of our names stem from the ancient Greek. Well, that ought to make Sam happy. Now, here's the best one. The name Alexander means the defender of man. Defender of what? Of man. That's what I am. Seeker of wisdom and justice fighting against all odds for the benefit of my fellow human beings. Sounds like a commercial. What's Otto's name mean? Well, Otto, your name is from the German, and it means the rich. I wonder if rich refers to money. Or maybe rich in knowledge or information. Let's write an article about the meanings of names. We can give examples of Indian names, like Tecumseh, and then our names. That's a good idea. So, on this page, we've got the song about General Brock, a list of books written about him and people of his time. And your story about your ancestors, Alex. Your story is very skillfully written for a first article. Thank you, Feta. I had to do a lot of research to find all that information. What was that? It's Cinderella. Must have fallen off the shelf. That's strange. The first six pages are blank. It is probably a printer's error. Guess you're right. Come on, Cinderella. Back on the shelf you go. Otto, what's wrong with the layout of this page? These stories by Sam and Chris on Brock, Lord Secord, and Tecumseh just don't look right together. <laughs> 
Yes, they all tell you about a person. Style? You mean the way they are written? Well, the story on General Brock is a little different because it's written like a question and answer interview. And it's also the longest story. Then, why not put the longest one in the middle? The question and answer style would stand out better that way. Put Laura's secret on this side. And to come, she stays here. You're right. It looks a lot better. Well, we'll suggest that layout to Mr. Fasano and see what he says. He may have a better suggestion. Why don't you do the Brock story as an interview? Our readers like that kind of story. It's as if they're asking the questions themselves. Of course, they think we make them up. <laughs> no escape. Please, there is no escape. Help me, please. No escape. I just can't think of a good headline. What's going here? Well, Sam's article about giving the artifacts to the museum. The rest of the front page is about the War of 1812. You could call it the Forgotten War. That's a good idea. None of us knew very much about it, and we should have. <laughs> That's what Sam said on the phone. I wasn't sure what she meant. Your heritage is the history and culture handed down by your ancestors. And it's something we should be proud of. Okay, I'll tape it up. You figure out some problems for the back page, Alex. Me? That's not fair. I'm only standing in for Chris because this has to be done right away. Well, okay, I'll try to think of a problem. <laughs> That's an idea, a word puzzle. Hey, I can use one of the crossword clues. Seven down, planning the movements of armies. Hmm. Well, that'll be easy. <laughs> It would be if you knew General Brock. That's what he did all day long, plan strategy. See, it fits. Maybe I should choose another one. 20 down. Good stories usually have a something between good and evil. Mm, that's a tricky one. Mm. Not again. What's wrong with this? Hey, how many black pages did I say this book had? Six. Well, now it's about 20. You must be seeing things. It's fading. Or being erased, like she said. Quick, turn the page. Maybe there's another picture. Help, please. What do you want us to do? Place your hands on the page. When it is erased, you will be brought to Book World. Please come and plead my case to the book destroyer before it's too late. The book destroyer won't listen to me. She's gone. What should we do? Oh, come on, Lynn. 
You don't really think that. But, Alex, this sort of thing has happened once before. I think we should give it a try. We? I never said I was going. I just got back from 1812. Now, that was strange enough. But this will be exciting. So is nearly getting shot as a deserter. Okay, you stay here. I'll just have to go by myself. I will. Page. Why did you decide to come? Otto, he reminded me that my name means Defender of Man. He figured that meant book characters, too. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. I'm not. I hope Sam remembers to get the Chronicle off to Mr. Frizzano for printing. So do I. It's supposed to be ready tomorrow. Which way do we go? There's a trail of blank pages. Let's follow it. they call this place Book World. Yeah. Listen. It came from over there. Let's go. He sounded horrible. We don't know if it's a person. The book destroyer could be a machine. Or something. Maybe. Wow, look at this. Which way? I don't know. I can't see any more pages. Let's try Villain's Alley. Why? Hero's Lane looks much nicer. I know, but the book destroyer must be Villain if he's after Cinderella. That makes sense. Thank you. There's no escape. 